Hi guys, welcome back, it's Lisa. Today we're gonna be doing a quick DIY update on this lamp. I was out this weekend and um, about an hour away from my home in another little um, city and I was at a thrift, a thrift store, a thrift shop, and it was run by or operated by um, that particular city's rescue mission. I was inside the thrift store and I noticed this beautiful lamp. Well, I actually noticed a pair of them. And what I love about the lamp is I love the um, the body of the lamp is really pretty. I love that and it's porcelain. So um, I'm always looking to add another piece of porcelain in this house. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love that. Um, about the lamp is that it has a porcelain body and then I love the detailing on this metal base. Now um, I'm going to be updating this with some spray paint and I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum's Oil Rub Bronze and I hope you guys can see that. But I'm going to be using that to update this lamp, the base and the neck of the lamp. Now I feel good about using the spray paint on this lamp because it's not a true brass. Um, as you can see I have a magnet here and the magnet sticks to that. So anytime um, you're dealing with real brass, the magnet will not stick, nor should it stick to the neck if it were real brass, but it's not. What you'll need to, what I'm gonna need to update this is just some scissors um, to cut these plastic bags, which I'll be using to protect this porcelain part of the lamp from the spray paint, and then some masking tape, and then just a cloth to dust and clean the lamp before I start any of the um, spray painting on the lamp. This lamp was six dollars and ninety-five cents for this one, and uh, they were both six ninety-five each. Lamps or uh, update um, anytime I'm going to be spray painting the base of the lamp. This is how I like to do it. Um, and go ahead and get the porcelain part right around the base, get that taped off so that you don't get any paint on that porcelain. Don't get any of this spray paint on your ceramic porcelain body back. You just kind of tear it. And I like to just tint the lamp. I'm just going to be tinting the um, porcelain part of this lamp right there at the top to secure it. And that's it. It's all ready to be spray painted now. Hi guys, we're back. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and updated the lamps. I finished painting them out and I did go ahead and add two new lampshades to the lamps as well. Um, I think the oil rub bronze bases look much better on the lamps than the shiny brass dated look that they had before. I did get these lamp shades at Lowe's. They were on clearance for $9.99 and so I picked up two of those. Now I think they really work really well on the lamps. Um, I love the color. I love the linen fabric on the lamp shades. And um, so that was $20 for two lamp shades. And then the lamps themselves were $6.95 each. So that's about $7 a lamp. So about $14 there. So far our total is up to $34. And then we can add $5 in for the um, Oil Rub Bronze spray paint that I picked up at Lowe's as well. So roughly these lamps were $39 for the pair of them. If you were to find lamps similarly at, say, Home Goods or TJ Maxx, those lamps would probably run about $39 to $40 a piece. So I think the savings is about $40 on these two lamps um, for something similar in style and quality from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. So I'm really I'm happy with the update. And um, I think that the only thing left to do now is to go and find these lamps um, a home. So come with me and let's find a new space for them. Before we go, I did want to zoom in so you guys can see how the oil rub bronze paint looks on the 
um, the finish of it looks on the lamps. So you guys can see that. You can see when you tape it off like that, you get this perfect um, finish on the lamp. And there's no... Okay, guys. Here we are. The lamp has found its new home. Or at least it's home for now. I do like it in here. I think it works with the rest of the color scheme. And so um, it's going to remain here for a while, I think. Um, I think it turned out really, really nicely. Get a little bit closer look at how the lamp looks in its new space. And I would like to thank each of you. All of my subscribers, I want to thank each of you for supporting this channel and supporting me. Um, I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. So I just want to say thank you to you guys. And also, um, if you haven't already and you'd like to, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And thank you so much for stopping by A Cozy Casita. You are always welcome.